So my capacity as chair of the Kuali Foundation, I'll offer just a, a few remarks before we move on to our really uh, busy work of the day. If you have the uh, misfortune to watch television much, uh, you may notice there is really a flurry of commercials on encouraging you to protect your treasure by moving to gold, to buy gold now and hedge against the risks of uh, things going on in Europe and other places. And um, I, I won't pretend to give you advice on your personal finance of whether you should buy gold or platinum. But I do think the terms gold and platinum are very important for this community. Kuali Financial, when it released 3.0, I think for many of us, we considered that our first major project, the one that started the earliest, and 3.0 was the gold release. It was the one a big, complex institution could implement, and Michigan State went live, and Colorado State, and a number of others that you've heard here, and Kuali 4, KFS 4 followed, and they have in the oven uh, KFS 5 because the financial people have certain sets of goals and ambitions of the tools that they need to run their universities. And I think we're looking to KFS 5 next year as really our platinum release. I mean, we'll continue to improve it over time, but not only is it more than sufficient, it's really what our financial people want. It's what we started this journey to give them the tools to serve the universities uh, uh, can do. Uh, in around March of this year, the Kuali COIUS will reach what we call functional equivalency. And that is for those many, many schools, those, I don't know, Steve Dowdy can, can tell me, 100 institutions out there or so that are on COIUS, they know they have a big green light to move to Kuali COIUS. All the things that they have in COIUS are there and a lot more stuff that they want. And it'll only be another year or two after that that you'll see Kuali COIUS go platinum. That wish list of all the things that the research administrators uh, would like will be there. Likewise, Kuali Rice is trending towards gold next year. Some may say we've got to get to gold and we'll polish it up to make it really shiny gold uh, as it goes. And a variety of other systems are in the works. So I, I ask you to think for just a moment uh, about our future. Kuali, as you know, is the Malaysian word for walk. We have eight projects in the works now. The library will have their first release, we'll call that silver, out about December of next year, and they'll proceed on towards their gold. What does this community look like, and how do we work when our Kuali walk fills up with gold and platinum coins? Everything is predictably on that path, and it is really our work, the work of our, our, our partners who will be coming in, that set the pace of how that happens. This community is beholden to no one. We're not going to be bought and sold. We have no other master to serve than our own universities, and we've demonstrated our ability to turn uh, vapor and ideas into silver, gold, and soon to be platinum. So I ask you to consider how shall we grow? This year over 815 are here from 38 states. We're sending notices to the other 12 for their bad behavior. <laughs> but the risk of this path has largely been drained out. And Joanne DeStefano in her remarks yesterday as the CFO at Cornell made that point clear. So we're 800 now, what happens as this community, as others look to solve their own university needs and manage their finances carefully, look to join your work? What do we do as we approach 1,000? What does this community look like if in some number of years our gatherings turn to 1,500? We have a lot to learn about how we grow together, and it takes the input and the advice of everyone here to make this community effective. There is no top-down organization of how this works. It takes the input and advice of our most skilled technical architects, of our Java developers, of our functional experts, of the executives who come here who may be making various decisions about investments, and the absolute essential work of our Kuali commercial affiliates who, in Michael's words, have dared to think differently 
about how to serve and work with universities in a highly constructive way that meets their needs and meets our own. I personally believe, like Michael, having been involved in many of these consortial efforts and things with the National Science Foundation and libraries and all these various meetings, I have never had greater confidence in any model for universities and people to come together to solve their problems in ways that work and that are sustainable and increasingly seem almost infinitely extensible in the world as universities continue to go forward in our own march towards millennia. So I ask you to be prepared to think about how we grow. Talk to each other, talk to your board members, and all options are on the table as I look to our future, which to me seems to be a Kowali walk increasingly full of gold and platinum coins. We have a great day ahead of us. We'll all gather tonight for what will be a fantastic uh, closing reception. And I know many of you are involved in various project and board meetings through the rest of the week. Thank you for being here this morning. Thank you, Michael, for carving time out of your schedule to be here and enjoy the rest of your conference.